So we're going to get this back to being a new show here. It's Wrestling Observer Live. Last night was AEW and NXT. Last week, the numbers were down. And, you know, there were there were various reasons for that. UFC was head-to-head. That obviously took a bite out of the uh, young male demo. But, I mean, this week, there wasn't a whole lot of big stuff announced. And when you announce big things in advance... You end up doing a better number, so I guess we'll find out what happens here tonight. But the big story coming out of AEW is so many people got hurt. And the the major injuries from last night were Phoenix going for a dive. And this one was bizarre because he's setting up this dive, and there's four guys outside, and they're brawling. But if you watch them, like... They're all trying to brawl, but watch the ring because they're all getting ready to catch Phoenix and they're waiting and they're waiting and they're waiting and they're looking and they're waiting. I'm like, where is this dude? And finally, Phoenix does a springboard. He he basically springboards facing outside. Then on the top rope, he does a half turn. Then he springs from there. And it's going to do another half turn into a dive, basically a torneo dive. And everybody waiting to catch him, they see him go straight up, and he goes straight back down again. And so they're all out of position, and he crashes and burns. And it's just, it's, it's, it, two of these injuries were just those things that just happen in wrestling. And he flies up in the air, he flies down, and he just crashes and burns. So... The word we got on him last night was he was banged up and they think that he will be okay for Saturday. And because it's Phoenix, I would say there's a 99% chance that he does the match on Saturday because he's crazy. That's the first one. Second injury was Matt Jackson. And this was another one of those pro wrestling deals where you know, they haven't been wrestling for a while because they've been at home quarantined uh, because California had the only essential travel rule. And some of the wrestlers from California did travel, like uh, SCU traveled to the shows, but but Matt and Nick stayed home. So they had to be back here tonight because they're setting up the match for Saturday. And so in the meantime, I mean, they did some matches. I mean, they they did that. Quite frankly, completely crazy match that they had together on Being the Elite, where they're taking bumps on the tennis court and in the weight room. It was completely insane. But they've not done a lot of wrestling lately. So they come back, and they're in the stadium, because there's going to be the stadium stampede match, or whatever it's called. And they're, I guess, just you know right off the field, on the wall, infield wall, or whatever you call it. And all they're doing is a high cross onto numerous members of the inner circle. And Nick does his high cross, and Matt does his high cross, and Matt blows out a rib. And I have not got an update today, but the doctor yesterday believed that he had broken his rib, but they still have to find out for sure it could be bruised, it could be cartilage. But a nothing happening normal as as Nick would call it, and he did call it in being the elite, a house show dive. And Matt just happened to blow out his rib. And then if you watch the show, I mean, he goes from blowing out his rib to having big, tough, Haas Jake Hager just pounding on this guy's back. I bet that was a thrill. But anyway, that's that update. And finally, they did a four-way with Nyla Rose, Chris Statlander, Hikaru Shida, and Britt Baker. And... Nyla Rose and Britt Baker were the heels, and the baby faces are doing this spot, and Nyla accidentally bonks into Britt in the corner. And then the baby faces pick up Nyla Rose, who's very big, and the idea is they're going to throw her into Britt Baker in the corner, who is very small. This sounds like a bad idea on paper. And what happened was Nyla Rose fell directly on Britt Baker's right knee. And that was the end of that. And they, they actually, Chris Statlander was trying to do spots with Britt Baker. 
And thankfully, Nyla Rose knew what was going on. And Nyla just got in the ring, dragged Britt to the corner, and tagged her. And that was the last we saw of Britt Baker in the ring. The doctor came out. He's checking on her knee. They help her backstage. The belief last night was that it was probably a torn ACL. But nothing is official until she gets her MRI. And I don't believe that she had gotten it prior to showtime here today. So we just wait and we hope that that's not what it is because she was getting a big push. This was the best work of her career. Uh, a torn ACL would put her out of action for at least nine months. Then she would have to get back into ring shape and ready to go again. It would probably take her out of her real job as a dentist as well for a while there. So this is a big break for Britt Baker and not a positive big break. And we just wait to find out what's going on here in the next 24 hours. So that's the injury update from yesterday. Very depressing to see so many injuries on one show. It sucks. And these are not the only injuries in the last couple of weeks. There was a situation where Marco Stunt got pummeled in one of these dark matches and he was hurt. And it's just tough. It's just tough right now.